Hello all, welcome to Learn Easy. In the previous video, we have discussed the porosity concept. Now we move on to the next topic. First, let's consider degree of saturation. Well, before going to that, let's understand what the term saturation means. It is the expression of the wetness of the soil in general terms. So now, with that being said, degree of saturation is the extent of saturation of the soil. So in technical terms, it is the ratio of volume of water to the volume of voids. That is, how much part of the voids is filled with water. It is represented with the letter S. So S is equal to volume of void, water by volume of voids. And degree of saturation is expressed in percentage. Let's take a look at the boundary conditions. The least value of degree of saturation can be zero. For this to happen, the volume of water should be zero. Then that means the whole voids are filled with air only and no water. But that means the soil is completely dried out. That's when we call the soil is a dry soil. Now, regarding the extreme condition, degree of saturation can be as high as 100%. This happens when the volume of water and the volume of voids are equal. That means the whole voids are filled with water only and there, there is no air in the voids. Then we call the soil as fully saturated soil. Also, a note here. When used in the formulae, in any volumetric relationships or any formulae, degree of saturation is expressed in decimal format only, like this. Now don't get confused between these two terms. This, as I said, is used only when substituted in formulae. But this, when we have to indicate the index properties of the soil, then the degree of saturation will have to be mentioned in percentage only. That's why I've shown this in the percentage format. When the degree of saturation of any soil is between 0 and 100, then that soil is called partially saturated soil. Now let's move on to the next term, percentage air voids. This is the ratio of volume of air to the total volume. Remember, I said total volume, not volume of voids. That means it includes volume of solids also. That is, the amount of air in the whole soil in terms of volume. Observe. We have discussed porosity in the previous video, right? So here, porosity is volume of voids by total volume. The percentage of air voids are Na is equal to volume of air by total volume. That is, both are expressed in terms of total volume only. Only the numerator changes. That too, here, volume of air is the subcomponent of volume of voids. You come across such formula here most often, so make sure you remember correctly and don't get, and don't get confused. So, as the name indicates, percentage air voids is expressed in percentage. Now, when the soil is saturated, that is, when the voids are filled with water completely, then there is no air, then the percentage air voids becomes zero, as there is no air. Now, let's take a look at the next term, air content. Percentage air voids and air content are similar, but there's a slight difference and we'll look at what the difference is. Air content is the ratio of volume of air to the volume of voids, that is the red rectangle here. That means it expresses the amount of air present in the voids. Now this we can relate to the degree of saturation. Because here the numerator is volume of water, that is the volume of water is compared to the volume of voids. But here it is the volume of air that is compared to the volume of voids. Air content is also expressed in percentage. And similarly, similar to here, when the soil is fully saturated, there is no air in the voids, only water. So then the air content becomes zero. When the voids are completely filled with air and no water, the air occupies the total voids. There are no empty voids and there is no water. So the air content becomes 100%. This happens when the soil is completely dry. With this, we have completed the volumetric relationships. We'll continue other relationships in the next video.
Thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos.